Hello viewers, in today's session we are going to discuss another important and conceptual problem from domain of functions, right? So here uh, we have to find the domain of this function f of x uh, which is the sum of uh, inverse trigonometric function and the square root function, right? So here uh, f of x is equal to sine inverse x plus square root of x minus uh, 1 over 2, right? So we have to find all the uh, values of x uh, for which this function uh, f of x is defined, right? So let us start. So let us take uh, this function as g of x and uh, let us take this function as h of x, right? So here f of x is the sum of g of x which is sine inverse x and h of x which is square root of x minus half. So whenever we have a function which is described as a sum of two functions then to find out the domain of that function uh, which is f of x uh, what we do we find the domain of uh, this function g of x. So let us denote the domain of g of x which is sine inverse x as d1 and let us denote the uh, domain of h of x as d2, right? And let us take the uh, domain of f of x as d. So the domain of f of x is given by the common values of x which satisfies a sine inverse x and square root of x minus half uh, simultaneously, right? So uh, first we'll do uh, or we'll find out the domain of this function, then we find out the domain of this function and then uh, we'll take the intersection of uh, these two uh, domains, right? So this is the concept behind uh, finding out the domain of a function which is expressed as a sum of uh, two or more functions. So now from the inverse trigonometric functions we know that a uh, sine inverse x it belongs to uh, the interval that is from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 right and whenever this x uh, belongs to this interval that is a uh, minus 1 to 1 right so the domain of sine inverse x is given by this interval uh, which can also be uh, written like this x is greater than or equal to minus 1 but less than or equal to 1 right so d1 is uh, given by uh, this inequality right now let us find out d2 now here uh, we have the square root function and anything which is inside the square root function uh, has to be positive or equal to zero because uh, here x minus half should be greater than or equal to zero because we cannot have a negative number inside the square root sign. So in that case the uh, number uh, does not belong to the set of real numbers. Right? So for x minus half to be positive, uh, it should be greater than or equal to 0. So we can take x greater than or equal to a half. Right? So a d2 is given by uh, this uh, inequality and this inequality can also be expressed like this. x belongs to the interval, uh, interval that is half to uh, infinity. So once we uh, get the domains d1 and d2, uh, the next step is to represent these domains uh, on the real number line, right? So let us take this uh, uh, real number line. Here we have minus infinity, here we have plus infinity, here we have minus one, then zero and one, right? And uh, this one over two, that is half it lies between 0 and 1 right so here we have half so now uh, d1 uh, is from minus 1 to 1 so here we have uh, d1 and including uh, both these uh, endpoints right so this is our uh, d1 
and d2 is uh, given by this interval that is half to infinity so here we have half half is included here and we go like this right so this is our d2 uh, from half to uh, plus infinity now we have to identify the uh, common region uh, which is uh, a line between uh, these two uh, domains that is d1 and d2 and from uh, this uh, representation we can easily see that uh, this region that is from uh, half to one right so this part is common to uh, both these domains right so d can now be written as uh, from half to one right so half is uh, also included and uh, here a uh, one is also included right so the domain of this function f of x is given by this interval and that is from half to one because this region is the only region uh, which is common to both these domains uh, d1 and d2 right because uh, this part uh, that is from 1 to infinity is not included in d1 and similarly we can uh, explain other regions also right so our uh, required domain is given by this interval which can also be written like this x is greater than or equal to half but less than or equal to 1 hello viewers in today's session, we are going to discuss another important and conceptual problem from a domain of functions, right? So here uh, we have this problem uh, in which we have to find the domain of this function f of x, uh, which is equal to uh, log of greatest integer of x, right? So here uh, we are using the notation uh, that is log uh, log for the natural log, right? So here uh, the uh, function log of greatest integer of x can also be written as ln greatest integer of x, right? So let us start. So now to get the domain of this function, uh, here I uh, will make use of the definition of uh, greatest integer function, right? And uh, we'll also draw some important conclusion uh, to arrive at the domain of this function. So let us take uh, these important points uh, one by one. So the first important point is that the uh, greatest integer of x should not be equal to zero, right? So greatest integer uh, of x should not be equal to zero uh, because when uh, greatest integer of x is equal to zero, uh, then we have log of zero and log of zero uh, is, uh, it tends to a minus infinity, right? So here uh, we have to avoid all those values of x, uh, which makes uh, greatest integer of x is equal to zero. Now, uh, to understand this uh, point, uh, what we will do, uh, let us draw the real number line and here we have uh, 0 and here we have 1, right? So, uh, whenever we have uh, x uh, lying between uh, 0 and 1, uh, including 0, then for all values of x which lies in this interval that is uh, 0 to 1, uh, the uh, value of greatest integer of x is equal to uh, 0, right? For example, if we have say x is equal to one point, uh, 0 0.5, then 0 0.5 lies between 0 and 1 and the greatest integer of 0 0.5 is equal to 0, right? So here, uh, the first important uh, point is that the greatest integer of x should not be equal to 0 or in other words uh, x is greater than or equal to 0 and less than 1. So we should not have any value of x uh, which lies in this uh, uh, interval. So now the second important point is that uh, here we have greatest integer of x. 
right and this x must be greater than 0 or in other words we can say that x should be a positive or real number right so we can easily discard all the uh, negative numbers because the greatest integer of uh, the negative numbers will uh, give us uh, a negative number right now let us take some examples here suppose we have say x is equal to uh, say minus 1 right then uh, we have log of greatest integer of minus 1 and the greatest integer of minus 1 is uh, minus 1 and here we have uh, the uh, logarithm of a negative number uh, which does not belong to the uh, set of real numbers right so here uh, we have to avoid all the uh, negative values of x so it implies that x should be uh, greater than uh, 0 right and uh, we have already uh, said that x should not be equal to 0 right so now uh, using uh, these two uh, important points uh, we can now easily arrive at the domain of uh, the natural log of greatest integer of x right so in the first case we have said that uh, this x should not belong to uh, this interval that is 0 to 1 right so we have to discard uh, this interval that is from uh, 0 to 1 and here a uh, 0 is also uh, uh, we can eliminate uh, x is equal to 0 also right okay and x is equal to 1 uh, may be taken because a log of uh, greatest integer of 1 is equal to log of uh, greatest integer of 1 is 1 so log of 1 is 0 and 0 belongs to the set of real numbers right so we can uh, include uh, x is equal to 1 right and we have said in the second point that uh, x should be uh, greater than 0 it means uh, x cannot be a negative number so we can discard uh, this interval also that is from uh, minus infinity to uh, 0 right and so we are left with only this interval that is from 1 to infinity 1 is included here right so the domain of uh, this uh, function is given by this interval that is from 1 to infinity where 1 is also included because uh, log of greatest integer of 1 is defined so the domain of f of x is given by uh, this interval uh, 1 to infinity where 1 is included right so whereas this is how uh, by making uh, these arguments and these discussions uh, we can arrive at the domain of uh, given functions.